sort of thing. But anyway, Ziggy, the big news, as we mentioned at the top of the show, you are the new Rise Grand Champion. Yes, I am. And and interesting circumstances uh, where you went not at a Rise show. I did not. Actually. No. Wh what? What? I won it at uh, MV Young's Polyam Cult Party 3. I've been on all three of them, so that also made it very special. Um, yeah, won it in the rain. Had, uh, yeah, <laughs> two matches. One at the very beginning, one at the very end. It was pretty brutal, but uh, it wouldn't change a thing. It was like an experience and... Yeah, it was wild. So, so you, it, so you pulled a Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Also, it was like an eighteen match show. <laughs> so, so at least you had a big gap in I, there. Oh, that made it worse. Oh, really? It was so, it, I was so like wigged out through it because it was. It had to be like three hours in between my matches. Mm -hmm. It had to be mm -hmm. like three hours. It was, there was a point where I'm like, how many? It, 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 and this happened with the last one too. I'm like, how many matches are on this show? A lot. You, get, you get through. I mean, <laughs> it's still like the whole thing, top to bottom, is incredibly good. Like it's mm -hmm. a very fun show to watch. Yeah. But, no. Yeah. Uh, I'd have a lot more fun if I wasn't actively <laughs> having an aneurysm the whole time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I also realized, um, I'm. Pretty sure my match with Janai Kai is technically the first fully women's match for technically the Rise title. Right, because it was a, a qualifying match for you to the see who meets um, David Lawless later in the night, correct? Yes, and so, I did. I wrestled mm -hmm. London a lot. London and I wrestled in Challenge of the Champions. We uh, did a lot of the Rise ring. But we never had a match that had anything to do with it was just her and I and the title. So that's actually pretty important too, where it was like a all women's qualifier for a top championship. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've had a, you know we, we, we you were on our, some of our intergender discussions. We had an indie mayhem show. Yeah, and we've had Marcus on here talking about Rise Wrestling in the past. And there's always been that opening. You've actually competed for the Rise title in was in was that called Challenge of the Champions? That I match believe. That, that was, yeah, that was Challenge of the was, Champions. It was like a six person tag in elimination match for yeah. the title. It was a very interesting uh, concept. That was um, that was. A lot. Me, David Lawless, London Ali, mm -hmm. Pee Smooth, uh, Derek Dillinger, mm -hmm. and Tony Johnson? That sounds or right. Or Matt Connor. Matt Connor. Yeah. Maybe, maybe everyone else in the locker room. I don't know. It was like two years ago. I'm pretty it, sure it was It six. was like two years, two or three years ago. It was a really ago, long so time was, ago. It was a long time ago. Um, but uh, so, so technically not the last, the, not the first time you competed for the title. No. Um, but, but Marcus has talked about how this is a title that is not, you know, you, they don't have a women's title there. Right. No. And, um, and uh, in the women, you know, there's intergender matches all the time. Um, I think we're, in, I think you might've been in a qualifier for the championship tournament as well with Tony. That Johnson. actually, uh, yeah. this is, that was the second time that I've had to wrestle twice in order to qualify for a title match. Mm -hmm. My first time I wrestled Mambo Italiano, the first match of the night. And then I was in the last match of the night and challenged the champions. Uh, so yeah, it was history repeating itself, but in a backyard. Absolutely. And we got that here. Of course, uh, GoPro wrestling, um, providing the, uh, production over there on, uh, the polycart called party. Uh, so, well, nope, that's just something random. <laughs> that, that's after the match, I think, is going on there. <laughs> Miscued. But, uh, but no, it's a wild time. And, 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 and say, I was at the second one. We have a little documentary that we put up um, with IndieWrestling.us. And uh, it's, uh, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's a really cool vibe. It's very inclusive. Yeah. Um, and I love because, like, you know, first one you did what up in Brooklyn you were a part of, right? Mm -hmm. And it was, like, in, like, a, well, he said a tomato patch or something. It, it was like a, in a backyard in Brooklyn, which, as you can imagine, is as large as you would think. Yeah. I'm just like, I didn't know. As in, it's not large. I, I'm amazed the wrestling ring fit in it. And uh, it, yeah. It, it, <laughs> I didn't stick around to see how it got out. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, didn't want to know no no like how did this magic happen and of course um you know from for two and three he's moved here to pittsburgh but of course there's a lot of talent coming from you know up there i think a lot from that area correct 
Like yeah. it, it felt like everybody I talked to that I didn't know came from Brooklyn. <laughs> so, a lot of them did. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but uh, definitely a really cool concept. Uh, I'm glad that he's brought it back to the uh, Pittsburgh Poly Mansion. Yes. So, <laughs> so there you go. There's a little bit of footage if you guys are on video um, here as well. Of course, you know, Rise Wrestling, um, I know they are in the works for returning live shows. Of course, Pennsylvania, we just we just today, by the way, you know, for those who don't know, in Pennsylvania, we just today got sort of an all clear at the end of the month that they're raising basically every restriction on businesses um, except for masks. And there's a whole other thing with that. Yeah. Um, but that we we are st- like literally like I'm talking with people today and we're trying to figure out what does this mean for wrestling? You know, we got to see what the rules there, if they're going to be independent of that or not. But um, so hopefully that means we're going to see more and we're going to see more of our um, uh, friends and promotions um, um, returning to business as usual, or at least some version of that here very soon. Of course, Rise and Chris now. With Ziggy, you representing is going to be pretty big going into that first show back. Absolutely. Yeah, it's now just like, when can I defend it, I mm-hmm. guess. It's weird not having a time frame of that, but mm-hmm. understandable. I have to ask because, of course, um, you know, we as things were shutting down last year, we did get a notice from Sterling that both Tony Johnson and the main event, who have been popping up on AEW lately, um, were stripped of their titles. Um, so, so do you have any feelings towards, uh, 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 Tony losing the title and, and what that can, you know, lead into, does he get a shot down the line? I mean, you guys didn't have a match before Linda, which actually led to, I think led to him winning his first championship. Yeah. Um, I think Tony is a fantastic wrestler. I love wrestling Tony. Um, he is great to compete with in the ring and if he, uh, wants to be, and probably deserves to be the first person to come after the title, then absolutely. 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 <laughs> I'm catching up with the chat here a little bit. Um, but uh, Y'all okay in We there? do have a question right, from, from our conversation earlier. So is syrup next after waffle, waffles and bacon for our waffles with women special? <laughs> syrup with sluts. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. I wasn't well, going to go I mean, there. That, I, I mean, think that's a different kind of show. I, I love it. <laughs> We're trying to be positive, right? It is positive. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know what? Uh, sexual. The Syrup Sisters. The Syrup. Oh. Yeah, that's good. It also could turn See? into something else, but um, but I, I, I wasn't gonna go there, but yeah. Yes. Um. <laughs> anyway, it's a different kind of mukbang. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're absolutely what if correct. What just turn these into mukbangs? <laughs> Well, just <laughs> no, Sorg, Sorg. That's 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 the finale. That's like that's the, finale. the very last so, one. So, like, we do our three episodes. where all the talking is done. It's just a mukbang. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, like, so we do like you guys like do our your your conversation over the three episodes, and then like at the end of the third episode, and we just like, hey guys, turns out we have all the rest of this stuff. Boom. I yeah. And it's just a culmination of everyone that's ever been on any of those tables. <laughs> it's like 45 people just sitting in a room eating. <laughs> there you go. And we can record some additional ASMR to go along with it, as we've discussed in the past. 